And welcome back to Moon Chronicles. After a complete pain in the rear end with more technical. What? I just wanted to make sure we we needed this stupid pillow box in down there. We do because that's the only way to show all the touch screen. Anyway, stupid thing. It is so great that we're back to recording after taking like 20 minutes to fix it. Our Yeti microphone was acting up for some reason. It's, <laughs> it's funny, I still don't think I'm used to the capture card, so I see Mike playing his 3DS. I'm like, Mike, what are you doing? We're recording. And you're like, I know, I'm doing it. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, that tunnel that I just passed is completely inaccessible right now. I just move the mic slightly. You don't need to move me anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to playing on such a tiny screen. We've had so many technical difficulties today. Like, we were trying to play Bubble Bobble Plus, and we did get it working eventually, but it cut. The recording device kind of just started working on its own. It's weird. Same thing happened with the microphone just now. Shut up out there, car! Yeah. Take that, guys. And they're dead. Yeah. The sniping with an assault rifle. System log M date one security. The security system consists of automated network of rote uh, centuries. These centuries will eliminate any threats encountered outside of the specimen containment apparatus or within it if the actions of a sus subject, I almost said suspect, are deemed to be a threat. I apologize if the text was a little blurry in the first episode. Um, there was actually an option to make the picture clearer and I didn't realize it. Yeah, you know, this capture card thing is fairly new to us yeah. still. But all our videos will be done at higher quality from now on in this thing, so this stuff should be easier to read. And look better in general. Yes. And um, the good thing is, I'm not noticing any lag in the video feed at all. Um, so uh, that's good. So upping the quality didn't really have any uh, consequences. Yeah. No consequences. This is the best kind of consequences to have. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, F7. F7! Sook, I found something that looks like it'll be up your alley. Very interesting. It seems... It's... It's... Bleh. Very interesting. It's some kind of robot, robotic probe. Aliens and their damn probes. <laughs> but highly advanced. You should be able to link to it directly through your UCA and guide it via remote control. Must be equipped with an ion pulse too. Make them in handy for temporary, st sh for temporarily shutting down force fields and stunning security robots. Okay. You got, you got all that from a basic scan. What have they been teaching you in ETEO research and development? Captain Tsukigami's research history is not relevant to your mission objectives, Major. But you can probably use this device to explore some of those s smaller tunnels. Ahem. Roger that, General. Jeez, I was just making a joke. You don't have to be a fucking bitch about it. Um, F7? Yes. <laughs> when you see me doing basic gameplay, then... It, yeah. Yeah, when, I, when you're just walking around, it's always F7. Exactly. And when you hear that... Ding! Uh, so there was that one time in the first episode where it was like, seriously, like, okay, F7. And then you walked around into one room within seconds. Oh, F7. It's like, what the heck, game? Couldn't you just talk to us before? I can select weapons with the touch screen, or I can just press button on the D-pad. F7. Yeah. 
You hear that sound Whenever effect, I right? hear that, that's F7. The remote access droid could be very helpful, Major. You should retrieve it just in case find other uses for it. F7. Oh, and if I shoot these normally, it'll shut them down permanently. Huh. The stun thingy of my robot only works temporarily until the stun field goes away. On Moon Chronicles version, down on the D-pad is a shortcut to the remote access droid. Huh. I can also cycle my weapons with left and right on the D-pad. I can use the touchscreen to go straight to a weapon. Uh, in those cases, I will not tell you to F7 because they'll see exactly what weapon I choose as soon as it's selected. Mm -hmm. hmm. Looks like a Ghostbusters gadget. Uh, <laughs> Funny. Oh, yeah, this tunnel here should lead me to nice little Let's secrets. Let's look at that wall for a second. Because, oh, well, you can get it. Though. Let's see. Eat at Joe's. Oh, we got advertisements here. <laughs> Actually, in uh, Rayman, the first Rayman game, there's a Joe the Alien. Huh. Who runs a restaurant, Joe's. That's funny. Alien Artifact Set 1. One it's of a, three. It's a slice of alien pizza. Collect all three artifacts to unlock tra hitting training missions. I might... I'll, I'll do the training missions after I beat the entire game. It looks like we're... Actually, it's funny. In this viewpoint, it looks like we're recording it from with my iPhone. Because of the way it's lining. <laughs> uh, yeah... The remote access droid does that. Or RAD for short. RAD. Well, remote access droid. What else does that spell? <laughs> Be careful where you park your body, by the way. It can take damage. Huh. When you're using the RAD. And the RAD can take damage <laughs> when your body is. Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when when you're not directly controlling the rad, the rad can still take damage from attacks. I'm backtracking so I can get one of those alien artifacts. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um Oh. I have a, another story to tell. Oh, okay. Well, now's a good time, I guess. Yeah, since I'm not really doing much of anything. So, um, it was a time where, for dinner, I cooked this whole bag of french fries. Really should not have cooked the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. And we had a bunch of leftover french fries, just because. <laughs> that we put in a bag. So one, so, one day my mother decides to heat up the leftover french fries just to eat for herself, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And one of them falls on the floor, and she picks up the french fry and goes, I'm sorry, little french fry. I so wanted to eat you, but now I gotta throw you away. Oh, that is so your mom. <laughs> and I'm like, Ma, it's a french fry. And then she goes, Well, french fries need love like everyone does. Oh, gosh. And I'm like, it's everything. Thing, Mom. <laughs> and seriously sounded like she quoted, um... She did, because I quote, I told her the quote. Oh, the quote from the Matrix? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. You see, there'll be movies that she'll never seen and, and whatnot, but, like, I'll say a quote from a movie and it'll just stick with her. It's so weird watching Mike play this game. You guys wouldn't know this, um, but when we were recording this, we recorded for three days, so, like, there's two images that are... I don't think they're exactly the same. No, the, if they were exactly the same, it wouldn't be 3D. But the, they're really similar. So, to the naked eye, they look the same, I think. If you look at one image, you can see more to the left, and if you look at oh, the yeah, other... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I see what you mean. But, like, they're almost the same... It's funny because the 2D mode that I put up of our 3D videos, um, 
it's, it's just one of those it's images. It's just one of those images being stretched to one side. They would looked a little blurry the when I looked at them last, but I think that may do to the fact that we were recording on lower quality. This is so crystal clear with the text. It's amazing. This way. I got turned around for a second. But yeah, when I watch Mike play these games, or when yeah, when I watch Mike play these games, or probably when Mike watches me play these games, um we watch them in like this weird two images side by side. So it's, it's it feels kind of weird. <laughs> Let me just map for a second. Okay. I'm not going to tell you the F7 when I'm doing that. It's just I'm just trying to see, like, how far it is to the next, uh, right. save point. It's like, I don't know about you, Mike, but when it comes to, uh, dual screen games and watching them on YouTube, I personally would rather see a bigger screen than a smaller screen in a map. Yeah. It's like, if I wanted... It's like, if I wanted a map or a walkthrough or something, I could go to GameFAQs. It's like, I mean, I know our name is the Strategy Guide, so we're kind of doing this to help people, but... There's just certain limits. <laughs> oh. History, MD... Zero, zero, zero... Is it? It's three it's zeros. Three zeros. Improving output. Over time, varying experiment experimental procedures have been administered in effect... To maximize chemical yield, subjects occasionally ex exhibited accelerated physical evolution, specifically in the indoctrin system. Indoctrin. Well, at least I don't have to F7 for that, thank God. Yeah. Ow. What was that? That little thing. <laughs> little guy. They make the creepiest damn sound, but they're the least threatening enemy. <laughs> that da 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 sound? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that sound. Yeah. It looks like a little an Iridion baby got loose. <laughs> and just started walking around. And here we have Max Health Increase. Yay! Joeow! And F7. Private Ellis Warner. I found Warner. I repeat, I've located Warner. What's her condition? She's dead. She's dead, Sook! She's... <laughs> but, by the looks of it, she didn't go down without a fight. Yeah, she's definitely a red shirt. <laughs> what about Silas Sil and Burton? No sign of them. I'm pressing on. K now. F7. You know what? I bet I could set up my drawing tablet to be F7. Then I could just keep it on my lab and then boom, boom. Oh, here's boom. a save terminal. So, uh, you know what that means, right? End of episode? Yep. We're pretty much like 15 minutes in. Oh. Yeah, we're, uh, that's 14, yeah. 20, some. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that. Bye, people! Bye! Open oh, my mouse is getting caught in the recording. I don't know. I'll check it. Bye.